Here, in the wasteland, we find many different species vying for dominance across the scorched earth. At the forefront of this race for survival are lightweight vehicles, many with body panels removed, and the additional reinforcement provided by the exoskeleton of a roll cage. This can mean only one thing. It's buggy month. Greetings Wastelanders and welcome to this, the Gaslands UK Car of the Month video and review for November 2021. The sixth video, presented by yours truly, Matt Reeve, the master to your blaster, the Ayatollah of rock and roller, here to witness you and your creativity and send your die-cast creations onto Video Valhalla. Uh, or oh, something like that. Anyway, this month, another stonking number of entries, 37 to be precise, and over 400 images to sort through before mixing it up into a wondrous 25-minute presentation that you are watching here with your eyes now. So before we get stuck in, there's a couple of points for all you new folks entering. Please read the rules! They're there for a reason. Please date stamp your photo entries clearly, ideally with a printed or a digital date in the image that also includes reference to the year. And a finish on a positive note, a huge thank you to the supporters who've been buying our excellent t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and stickers. There's still time to order yours for delivery, ready for Christmas. And eternal gratitude as well to last month's sponsors of James Hall and Nick Kitch for sending me a coffee tip. Every little helps. Alrighty then, who is this month's sponsor? Well, drum roll please. It is, of course... Nick Ayres North Star Military Figures. Now, North Star, unless you've been living under a rock, have got some fantastic bits. He's got an absolute wealth of things, not just for Gaslands, but for all sorts of miniature wargaming. Extras, rules, dice, templates, but they are the go-to for figures and what is known as the Implements of Carnage sprue. Uh, if you've not sampled that, you really need to get one of those. That was my gateway drug into Gaslands. You will be able to make multiple, multiple teams out of that. North Star are also well known for their white metal cast figures and crew for Gaslands. They do a range of warboy-like figures from Mad Max Fury Road, Wasteland Warriors, Highway Patrol of Police. They have Rusty's bootleggers, rednecks and cowboys for your teams, and they also have a corporate team, so they're all fully geared up in racing equipment with helmets. Now, I was lucky enough to receive through the post a sampler of the new Implements of Carnage 2 sprue, so it would be rude not to show it off and just pop it together to give you an idea of the kind of quality and um, what you're getting with this. So thanks very much to Nick for forwarding that on. Here you can see a full set of instructions. It comes well packaged. On this sprue we have a buggy. There is a dirt bike, a selection of gas cans, uh, oxygen bottles, as well as a remote control car, that heavy metal wrecking ball flail there, Morningstar style, and a grabbing claw. Now, it does come with instructions. You don't really need them. It's pretty simple to put together. It's got this uh, two punks, two wasteland punks, one who's a gunner or on the back, one who is driving. Um, it fits together beautifully. There's no, uh, there's no need to trim mould lines or anything like that. There was no extra flashing or anything that needs to be cut off. They are very high-quality 
injection moulded sprues. Uh, and an absolute pleasure to put together. So here they are, this is what they look like finished. And this is what they look like painted. This isn't my painting handiwork, this is taken directly from North Star's website. These cars have been painted by Kev Dallimore, and he's really brought them to life, they are terrific. So, let's see what tasty prizes are being offered to you lucky people this month. In first place, Nick Eyre of North Star Miniatures is offering Implements of Carnage 1 sprue, the Implements of Carnage 2 sprue, and one set each of each of his crew and drivers, figures. So that's five bootleggers, five corporate team members, five highway patrol officers, and five waste and warriors. Wow. And in second place, Nick is also offering his Implements of Carnage 2 sprue. So that's two sprues in the set. And still a fantastic prize. That's enough to make two dirt bikes and two buggies and then all those little extras that come with it. So time to check out the theme. Bring on the Kemper Van of Curiosity. Let's have a look. It is buggies. Yes, lightweight, fast, stripped down vehicles. They could be dune buggies like these ones. They could be homemade, more go-kart style things. Um, remember, it's essential. They're going to need a roll cage. They're going to need some, some lightweight armour to speed. Because they're very fast, of course. Buggies. One of the faster vehicles in Gaslands. But very weak, prone to crashing. Um, very lightweight. I hope it's not going to be too much of an uphill struggle this month. <laughs> uh, but plenty of scope. Let's see some scratch-built buggies. Let's see some cars stripped down. Let's see some nice big chunky springs. Skinny front tyres. Big fat back tyres. The sky's the limit. Use your imagination. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you can come up with. Oh. And don't forget, you might want to leave a bit of space in the back for that extra crew member. You never know. Okay, that's that over with. Next bit, we've got the roll call. Who's taking part this month? Aaron Northrup, Alan Satab, Andrew Ferber, Arise Lightspear. Bart Van Shake, Benjamin Pop, Braden Wachtel, Danny Mattes, Daryl Buckmaster, David Bassett, Derek Green, Fred Wyver, Graham Hendry, Pardo Pius, Harry Yardy Diecast, Ian Barham, Ingvar Neibson, Jamie Titkin, Jay Conklin, Jeremy Jason Baker, Jimmy G, Jonathan Howard, Keith McAvoy, Kilgore MJ, Marcus Jones, Mark Daniels, Matt Andrews, Matthew W. Johnson, Matt Segar, Mikhail Dogner, Nick Kitch, Paul Chapman Moss, Richard Hubbard, Shane Hurd, Steve Kinky Weasel, Tony Peacock, Zach Steiner. Oh, that's quite a few. That's quite a few. It's 37. Does anyone notice? Look, on top of the TV. Does anyone notice that? Nobody's ever commented on that. You know, I do that every month for you lot. Aaron Northrop kicks us off. And look at this. This is excellent. I love it. This is really originally unique. It's based on a giant water beetle. Or water bug, also known as a toe biter or toe nipper, I think over in the States, which he, he pulled out of his pond and it inspired him to make this. Um, it's, it's wonderful. It is, it's, it's covered in plastic spoons to give that carapace. It's got guitar strings, I think the guitar strings for those uh, antenna. It's literally a buggy bug. Great paint job, fantastic, well done. Alan Setab has taken a classic beetle here and uh, really buggified it. Brace suspension, 
We've got some nice coiled springs, uh, great use of some North Star plastic bits on there, the front ram, the blower, the implements of carnage extras on the roof. It's very wastelandy. Nice classic rusty paint job. Um, congrats, Alan. Andrew Ferber, first time entrant. He's taken a classic coupe, put some nice big fat wheels on the back and a roll bar. He's also dug out his North Star mach twin machine guns, a smoke launcher off the back, and some nice muddy tyres and mud effects. Congratulations. Another new entrant all the way from the Indonesian island of Java is Arise Lightspear. Now, this is a fantastic job. The paint scheme, this trash-bashed, uh, junk-modelled parts he's used on here. Some incredible details. Looking at his work in progress, it looks like it's got working suspension. It is 164. I was unsure about that. Uh, and it's just sheer class really upping the game with this one. Congratulations, Arise. Bart Van Schaik returns with another scratch build. Excellent use of little parts there. Nice and rusty. I particularly like the very highly raised suspension. When you get the chance, Bart, swap those back wheels over. You've got the front treads going forward and you've got the back treads going backwards. Shh, I won't tell anyone. Congrats, Bart. Another great solid job. Now, Ben is part of the admin team. He can't officially enter, but he's always up for challenging himself. And he's been inspired by Fred Wyver's creation, which we'll see a little bit later, to weld this. This has been soldered from paper clips, from pieces of wire. A cut-down car. His weathering is spot-on as ever. A classic Ben. Um, a beautiful job. And be sure to visit his YouTube channel, BP Custom Creations, just to see how he did it. Braden Wachtel's entry. Um, this is an interesting one. This is a three-car mashup, which has been well executed. You never tell there's three cars in there. Some great details with the gas cans on the back. Whether they're 3D printed or they're, they're third party, I can't quite tell. Clean paint job. A little bit too clean. Could do with a bit of rust and dust, but otherwise a solid build. Danny Mattes. I like this one. This is great. So many lovely details in here. He's created a TV van. It's got a great big camera on it. It's got a remote control car on it. It's got a teddy strapped to the front. It's got these barbed wire coils and this beautiful LED screen. It's uh, the TV company who film the Gaslands conflicts. And I particularly like the colour scheme. Great use of contrasting red and blue there. Wonderful. Well done. Daryl Buckmaster's lime green mean machine is called Giant Killer. Has knocked this together in, in four hours, I think he said. Um, very quick trash bash, a scrap junk build, uh, and you've done a great job considering how little time you spent on it. David Bassett, now this is a beauty. So this actually started life as a stripped down 3D print of a dune buggy, added some incredible detail too. I think of buggy, this is immediately what I think of. This wonderful lightweight, chunky tyres, uh, delicate framework, it's rusty. We've got this the spree flag, we've got the punk drivers um, and a great use of weathering pigments. Very successful build, well done. Derek Green, I think he's still stuck on Halloween builds from last month. <laughs> he's created this sort of bat out of hell build that is dragging these two zombies behind on chains. Um, I like it, it's very creative. Wish your photos weren't quite so dark, Derek, but uh, a successful build. Maybe don't use cardboard, that's a bit, that's ridden up on the edges, would be a bit better, flatter. Here to show everybody on how it's done, as usual, is Fred Wyver, an amazing junk model build here. He has welded that framework from scratch by hand, with the soldering iron. Those beautiful big chunky tyres, the Wasteland Warriors from North Star riding up, and he's added LEDs. It's called the Bullfrog, and that is a, is a beautiful little build. I love the paint scheme, I, I love everything about it. Superb work as ever. Graham Hendry, this is a different take. It's called Bug Tracky, <laughs> I can see why. It's a tracked buggy. There's a large heavy gun sat on top. The weathering is pretty good. Minor criticism is that you've not cleaned up those 3D printed bits. Look, there's some little bits of 3D printed cobweb on there. Otherwise, solid build. Hardo Pius. He's back from Estonia. And another nice buggy. This is a, a, a take on the classic Bone Shaker. Stripped it right back. Added this roll cage on it. Some nice suspension on the front. The dual flags. Very successful. He's put the engine in the back, whereas previously it was in the front. 
Uh, that's how it's done. Well done, Hardo. Harry Yardy Diecast Nns, if that's how you pronounce it, Nns, 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 Nns. Um, <laughs> I like this. This is great. Toothpicks for spikes on the wheels. Lots of different trash bashed elements. Lots of bits of scratch built. Uh, a great crazy colour scheme. Uh, fantastic. Well done on your first entrant to car of the month. Ian is back with his orcs. He's got some more orcs. He's got his little orc bell where he's covered in grots, actually. Uh, it fits in beautifully with his previous giant orc build. I love the one holding the fairy wand on the front. It's magic. There's one hanging off the back. And uh, no Ian Barham would be complete without the menace. Well done, Ian. Ingvar Nibson. So I think this is a very clever trash bash. It's a very clever junk model build because it, it's very hard to uh, identify any of those starting pieces and how you've managed to cut those up and fit those in there. I like the weathering on this. There's a good use of uh, chipping technique um, that's nicely weathered. Congratulations. Jamie Tickham has taken the classic rat rod and uh, cut it back even more. I mean, it's already pretty cut up. He's buggified this rat rod. Big wheel, nice big chunky tyre on the roof. Those scratch-built upright exhausts. Clever use of connects there to uh, make a gun on top. I like that. Fantastic. Well done. Jay Conklin, all the way from New York. Hey, Jay. This is Jay's uh, Christmas Secret Santa build. I love it. It's, um, it's, it feels a little bit too on the heavy side for a buggy, but what a stunning, stunning build. I love his use of these hair rolling tong hair rollers. Uh, like perm rollers um, to make those spikes it really makes me want to go out and buy some of those. Um, nice understated colour scheme, fantastic, well done. First time entrant Jeremy Jason Baker has created this little car. It's called the Mosquito. It seems that it's been modded out of bits of jewellery. Is that right, Jeremy? I'm not quite sure. Um, congratulations on your first ever car of the month entry. Jimmy G returns with a speed build, a cow car. <laughs> Made out of all sorts of bits of junk. Jimmy did this in a rush, says he made it in about five hours. Bashed it together. I think it's pretty successful considering how little time he spent making it. Jimmy um, has been doing all sorts of challenges in the group. It's great to have you on board. Jonathan Howard has created a classic buggy here. Um, it's part of his team. He's gone with some North Star bits and bobs on the front. We've got the twin guns and the uh, the driver. You could say this is a Frankenstein vehicle, as it's made from lots of different leftover chopped up parts from other cars. Um, very successful, well done. Keith McAvoy has returned. He's taken this sports car, he's stripped it right back. He's added this cannon bonnet uh, and this door mesh. Come on, let's see you tidy up your paint job. You can up this game. I know you can. I can believe in you. Kilgore returns with this uh, big chunky wheel buggy and it's got a fuel tank on the back. He calls this an economy build. I think he just started out with a base. Built that up with plastic card and bits on top. Well done, Kilgore. Everyone's breaking out the North Star bits this month. Marcus Jones has with the twin machine guns and the two drivers off the implements of Carnage Sprue. I love those big chunky springs. I think those tyres are great. I think that's a very understated paint scheme um, that works very well. And some beautiful little details in there. Same with it goes for the engine. Um, very successful. Mark Daniels, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> That's a nice little movie reference on the front there from The Godfather. Look at that massive minigun. Say hello to my little friend. There it is. Um, very well done. I think that would flip it over if it shot, but, you know. Matt Andrews. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> I always wondered what to do with that banana car. There's a Hot Wheels banana car. Matt Andrews has taken it. He's, um, he's, he's painted it up with this sort of electric pink uh, and put this car guy with binoculars in it it works it, it's 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 kitsch it is it's it's off the wall it's it's sort of slightly 80s it got an 80s vibe to it um it's really original and unique congratulations matt hilarious new entrant matthew w johnson um i like this there's some nice little details on here the skulls on the front the bird skull on the roof we've got this rear foil um, it, it doesn't feel buggy enough. It also doesn't feel converted enough from the original vehicle, but it's a solid paint job. Well done. Matazegar 
that has created this rusty beast. This is part uh, mashup of various different vehicles I can see in here. I like the guy who he's got driving, his crew member. Some nice chunky tyres. Um, congratulations, Matus. Mikael Togner, last month's first place winner, is back. He created two vehicles. He chopped them in half, made a front and a back, made two different buggies. Now, there's a huge amount of detail on here. Huge amount of detail. Um, I love it. I think there's the, the mud, the texturing, beautifully textural. Um, it's a shame going to be judged on one of them, so he's gone for the back. Uh, fantastic. Nick Kitch. Nick returns. Uh, I like this one as well. This is a classic buggy, if I've ever seen one. We've got lots of skulls on the front. Uh, nice use of that wrapping tape, that wrapping plastic ribbon for the armour on the side. Some nice little details inside. Uh, the panel work and the buttons and things. Some suspension. Everything you want in a buggy. Well done. Paul Chapman Moss has gone for the pink vibe. I, I, I love the little gun on there. Uh, I like that sort of action explosive effect. Um, his comes apart inside, we'll see in a minute. He has got a roll cage. He's completely stripped it back. Um, I think now it feels like a buggy. It feels like a buggy with that top taken off, but still classic, well done. Richard Hubbard, uh, Fallout themed. It feels a bit too heavy to me for a buggy, this one. I do love the female figure with her shish kebab, um, which is a flaming chainsaw, I seem to remember, from Fallout. That's a nice little touch. Uh, military vibe to it, and it fits in. Uh, maybe she's from Vault 501, I'm assuming. Uh, and it fits in with the rest of his team here. These look fantastic. Congratulations, Richard. Shane Hurd has gone for sort of rave colour scheme this month. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one uh, that is, yeah, taking me back to the 80s. Uh, I'm getting acid flashbacks from this one. Um, there's a lot going on. It, it definitely screams buggy. It screams party buggy. Uh, and it looks great in his little diorama that he's made. Steve Kinky Weasel! What a name! Um, another interesting buggy. Slightly armoured, this one. It feels like it's got this combine harvester slight shielding on the front, this front ram. Um, very different, very original. I like it, Steve. I like the paint job. I like the weathering. Um, congratulations. Tony Peacock, another classic. Uh, dirtied this one up. Always a pleasure to see Tony's work. Um, very nicely modded. Um, good use of North Star miniatures. Everyone is breaking out their North Star miniatures this month. So many builds have got them in. Uh, very successful. Uh, back on top form, Tony. And finally, Zack Steiner. This, this is great. I love the seagull wings on this. Um, he's taken this sports car, uh, ripped the front off it absolutely mercilessly, um, uh, and but kept <laughs> kept those wings, um, those wing, those gull wing doors. Um, I don't really know what to say. It, uh, bizarre, but brilliant at the same time. Well done. So the burning question. Who gets to go home with all those delectable and delicious North Star pieces? The implements of Carnage Sprue 1 and 2 and all the figures. It is... Arise Lightspear! Come on down! Congratulations, Arise. I'm, I'm sure that isn't your real name, but uh, for your first time entrant, coming all the way from Java in Indonesia, um, we're glad you've joined us. This is fantastic. It particularly caught our judge's eye. Nick enjoyed this. It, he had to do a double take that it was actually in the right scale because it looks like it should be should be bigger than it actually is. Um, we've got this schoolgirl sniper on the roof. That was a very nice touch. The colour scheme, uh, excellent work. Well done. And in second place, we have Alan Setab, formerly Bates. Alan, come on, look at this one. Very nicely done as well. Nick enjoyed this. Uh, he thought it was a, a great take on the classic Beetle. Solid paint job, great crew. Nice use of all those spare bits and bobs you can find on the implements of Carnage Sprues, um, the suspension, a solid build. Congratulations, Alan. And there we go, another month over. 
It's nearly the end of the year. We've got December coming up. By now, the theme should have dropped. We have got a stonking prize for you. Come and join us. Hail and Terrain will be sponsoring. You need to join the group and find out what the theme is. Uh, and that terrific prize. Let's just say it's over a prize pool of over £200 worth of prizes. Ooh, the excitement! Please, 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 buy me a coffee, and then I will talk even quicker. Please, 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 come and buy some merchandise from the shop. Look awesome this Christmas, set up the Christmas table in a Gaslands hoodie. <laughs> uh, just buy one for your mum, you know, that's what somebody said they were going to do. Um, I've got mine, that's enough talking from me. Thanks for joining us, please like and subscribe, tell your friends... Thanks for listening to me, and we will see you next time. All right, until then, goodbye, wasteland.